Button mash, button mash, slice, slice, dagger, dagger, kill, stab, punch, punch, kick, dodge, love, hug, make peace. And hey, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. I'm playing NES games in the order they came out in. And we got four games today. We got Formula One, Built to Win, The Immortal, Mega Man 3, and Palamedes. And our first game today is Formula One, Built to Win, which came out in 1990. And the box art looks like this. Formula One, Built to Win, or F1 BTW, by Seta. Seta, build your skills and car to compete against 32 of the world's... <clears throat> there's weird spacing between the world's top drivers. Uh, win prize money, go gambling in Las Vegas to build up your account, use the money in your account to make improvements on your car, and enter exciting races all over the world. A bunch of screenshots. They're serious about that Vegas thing. There's a slot machine. Let's play it. Fast. Faster. The fastest man alive is not in this room. A world of sweat and sacrifice where split-second reflexes and the ultimate in technology are essential in attaining. The victory that can only be achieved when man and machine function as one. An arduous step-by-step step -step process known to those few, driven few as... Formula One built to win F1 BTW normal mode free mode into your name. There we go. Okay, well, let's go to Detroit. Um, office, speed shop, car check. Let's go to the office. Hello, please select the course and push the A button. Okay. Speed shop. Welcome and help. What type of parts would you like to offer? Uh, you mean buy? None. Car check. Yep. What? What is a Formula One? That's not a Formula One car. What the hell? All right, guess we're gonna race. Let's let's go with that. Look at this Formula One. Oh, this view again. Looks like it's a first-person view inside the cockpit of the car, but it's not. You're the red car, and you still see your dashboard. So did I have to choose between music and sound effects? Such excite. Oh, there's there is sound, okay. Is it over yet? Yep, I've seen enough of that. Graphics. The graphics are pretty decent. I'll give it a six and a half. Sound, uh, there's very little sound there when you have the music going. Um, music, two and a half. Story, um, seems like a little interesting with like, you know, a little more RPG-ish elements, I guess, to it. I don't know. Um, I'll give that a two. Controls, they're fine. Five, funness. A two, does it hold my attention? A two, and overall we're going to give it a three and a half. That was Formula One BTW. And let's get it to the next game. Our next game today is The Immortal, which came out in 1990. And the box art has that guy on the front. And everybody knows that guy, Will Harvey. Oh, it's a Will Harvey game. Who's Will Harvey? When Nightmare Come to Life, you discover you're not immortal. Then why is it called that? You're a mighty wizard in search of your lost master, Bold of Might. Venture into the dungeon and solve the mysteries of each level and unravel the secrets of the immortal, immortals. Immortals! And uh, that's all pretty blurry, so I have no idea. Um, Electronic Arts presents The Immortal. 1990 from Will Harvey. There he goes. Everybody, the wizard. He stopped. What's he doing? What? Ah! Okay. Oh. Okay. Little fireballs I can shoot. Great. Um. 
items. The dude disappeared in the candle. The image of the old wizard Mortimer leaps from the Durek, you have come to save me. I am in the dungeon far below. I know I can count on you. This explains your old teacher's mysterious disappearance, but there's one thing strange about the message. Your name is not Durek. Ah! Run! Run! Did you find the body of a slain fire? Search. Yes. You find a ring. A name is etched on the band. Durnrick. Take it. Yes. Don't interfere. Ha! Za! Za! Slice! Slice! Dagger! Dagger! Kill! Murder! Yes. Suck it. It's locked and you don't have the key. Okay. Uh, give up, wizard. Button mash, button mash, slice, slice, dagger, dagger, kill, stab, punch, punch, kick, dodge, love, hug, make peace. I don't want to pick that guy. Alright, we'll go this way then. And one shot in him. Prepare to continue. Oh, I don't want to go. Go back. Let's go this way. Don't advance. Stop. Surrender at once. Oh boy, another fight scene. Yay! Fighting game broke out. Ah. My Santa hat won't save me. I don't know what the red bar means. Ooh. <laughs> Dork. Oh, a bunch of stuff. It's a stupid bat in my face. Oh, I hit a trap or something. This game's not as bad as Angry Video Game Nerd made it out to be, but it's not that great. Um, graphics, isometric view makes it a little interesting. I'm going to give that a 6. Uh, sound is fine. We'll give that a 5. Music, uh, give that a 5. Story, I'll give that a 6. Controls, um, not too good, especially in the fighting. We'll give that a 3. Funness a four does a hold my intention. Uh, probably a four, and overall we're going to give the Immortal a four and a half. And let's move on to the next game. All right, our next game today is Mega Man 3, and that game came out in 1990. How about that? And box art. Finally, a Mega Man with not doofy-looking box art. And you have Castle Grayskull in the background, and the Mega Man refund. Save up to $10 when you purchase Capcom games. Detail inside. wonder if that's still good. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 3 explodes in back-to-back -back robot battle. It's robot rebellion and nobody's safe, least of all Mega Man. This time the super powerful cyborg takes the horde of metal maniacs who've had it with being obedient. And they use every android annihilator ever invented to make you believe it. Mega Man goes berserk, blasting through a galaxy of mining stations in search of energy crystals, but it takes more than guts to battle the phenomenal robot masters who control these worlds. It's a wrenching job, uh, the worst and the best that Mega Man faced so far. 21 rapid fire levels, fight all new totally terrifying foes, call Rush, your dog droid, for super machines that speed you past danger, demolish master robots, and gain their powers for the final cataclysmic clash. Uh, tight spots, no problem. Rebound on Mega Dog's Rush Springboard. Leap, slide, and fire on the fly to smelt down the heavy metal. All aboard, Mega Man rises and rushes to the challenge. No intro this time? Okay. Just get right into it then. Uh, I'm not as familiar with Mega Man 3 as other Mega Man games, so I don't know what order you're supposed to do things in. Magnet Man! Ready? Oh. Oh. Because I'm made of metal. 
Those are powerful magnets. Start there. Music's not as good as Mega Man 2. Let's go with Topman. And he has slow down. Oh my friend. Oh, that's some bad slowdown. Maybe the screen won't be so bad. Okay. We're gonna Mega Man ourselves down here. Oh no. Oh, he has a slide, okay. I'm dead. Well, I could probably keep playing Mega Man 3, but I'm not gonna. Graphics um, 7, we're gonna give sound a 8 classic Mega Man sounds. Uh, music, well, not as good as Mega Man 2. It's still okay, so we're gonna give that a 7. Um, story uh, 3, it's typical Mega Man story. Controls, again, it's Mega Man. It's controls like a Mega Man game. We'll give that a 7. Funness. Um, six and a half doesn't hold my intention. A six and overall Mega Man 3 is going to get a seven. Um, good. Rather play Mega Man 2 or some of the later like Mega Man X games, but uh, not bad. Let's move on to the next game. All right. Our final game today is Palamedes, which came out in 1990. And the box art looks like this from Hot B. Palamedes. Palamedes. And we got ugly dice jumping on a dude's head. He's pretty happy about it. That's horrible. Back of the box is a wet, blurry mess. Let's play the game. Hot B. Hot B again. Alam Palamedes. Yeah, it's a puzzle game, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in it and shoot things that match. Oh, I can't. Okay. Yeah, the other button it changes what dice I'm. Okay. Terrific. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Not sure if I care to do it. Uh, this game is happening to me whether I want it to or not. Palomini's graphics. Uh, three and a half sound is okay. Three and a half music. A four and a half story. Um, I don't think there really is one, but we'll give it a benefit of doubt of a one. Controls are six. Uh, funness, uh, two and a half. Does it hold my attention? Two. And overall, we're going to give Palomini's a three. That's it. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.